Okay. But yeah, that was cool. I'm just like... I don't mean this at any, as a slight to anybody, but I'm just... I'm just tired of doing shows where like I show up and there's like no black people in the audience. Like, I'm just like... Like, I don't know. You gotta do shows everywhere to make sure the jokes are funny everywhere, but it just gets annoying. It's like there's no black people here at all. And I don't know. If I was a different race, I would think it's weird if like no one that's not my ra like that no one that's like a different race than me is not coming to my shit. That would be weird. Like if only black people came to my shows, I would still think that would be kind of like. Huh, why does no one else like this, you know? But I, I don't think white people ever think of that, though. I definitely see it. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't none of this show making any better. Go. Hey. <clears throat> Bitch, we on go. Go, 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 Let's go, go. Christ. Go, 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 <laughs> better make some room, bitch we coming through, bitch we coming through, this ain't nothing new. Can I have five minutes of your time? Go, 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 go. Six days till a headline Portland. I gotta do a headline in a comedy festival, and it was the first comedy festival I'd ever gotten into. And uh, it was right, it was right before like the whole COVID pandemic shit. It was literally February 2020. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, first comedy festival I, I ever got into. Got rejected by all the other ones. And then. Four years later, I'm the festival headliner, so that's cool. But, um, I haven't gotten on stage enough, so. So this will be nice to just get my feet wet, but I, there's nowhere I can just like go do an hour in LA. So it's just like, whenever I go, to, go do an hour in these other cities, you know. It's probably the right move. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way I can go do an hour is go do it in another city. I mean, I'll do an hour out here in L.A. for the Netflix festival in May. That gets announced on Valentine's Day. But yeah, it's hard to practice to be a headliner when the scene is set up the way it is. But Yeah, we got to fight for every minute of stage time. Right. But, hey. Uh, Excuses don't matter. They just make you feel good in the moment or whatever the fuck. I'm gonna do an hour next Thursday and it's gonna be great. Hell yeah. Oh man. This economy's bad. Did y'all know that? <laughs> Dude, like, I, I wrote for TV and I'm here. Like, this. <laughs> Dog, I haven't had a job in like two years. This shit's great. I wrote on that show, Dave. I don't know if you ever watched it. Oh. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> Residual checks is bullshit. Man. It's just funny to me. I gotta figure. I want to figure out a joke about it, but I just the premise is there. I just don't know what the joke in it is yet. I want to one of these days I'll figure it out. But I, I've always thought that was interesting. It's just like church is the most segregated thing in the world. And then L.A. comedy is probably second. <laughs> yeah, the more I think about it, though, you're right. Like the more I just see like a white lineup oh yeah versus like a well spread lineup yeah. and you know there's some people doing it right you know I'm not gonna act like i'm not gonna generalize the whole comedy scene it's not all one thing but it's very prevalent because if when people come out here that's the first like like when comedians from other cities come out here and they're not white they're just like dude what the fuck like this is crazy yeah if everybody brings that up when they come out here they all can't be crazy, right? 
Somebody's not wrong. What I see a lot of in Phoenix is they'll be like, we have one person of color and yeah. one woman, and that's our diverse lineup. Everybody, come yeah. on out. The thing, I'll give Phoenix a little grace with y'all. Just don't y'all. They don't have as many comedians as out here. Uh, right. It's it's a thousand comedians in LA. If you if you're booking a white all white lineup in LA, you're doing that on purpose. Because there's a there's a comedian for everything out here in LA. I'd even say there's like more too. Like that's crazy. Hey bro, mess that. Man. Was oh like shit! That. It was a black person yeah, in there. Yeah, oh I'm my god! You, bro. I'm with you, I'm bro. Bro. Hell yeah! So there was one black person in there. That's awesome. Good for him. There we go. Yeah, dude, we got a comedian for everything. If you want to look up, if you want, if there is like some comedian database, you want it to be like, uh, I want gay Asian comedian from South, the South. Guarantee you there's at least five in LA. You wanted to look up black trans comedian from New York. Guarantee there's, we got probably like 20 out here. Like you can literally, there's a comedian for everything out here in LA. So it's just like, you have an all white lineup, you're doing that shit on purpose. You're, you're doing that shit, and it's just, at this point, it's just like, what are you, like, bro, what are you doing? And it's just like, if you want to put the best show on for your audience, just booking a bunch of white comics, like, bro, that's not, you're not doing good for your audience, in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? Too much, man. Not not enough, though. Not as much as this guy. No, but I actually came to see you to, to talk about a project. 